Hi, I'm Nick, we're here with The Wing, and today we're going to be looking at the basics of getting an input into your console. The Wing has eight local XLR inputs, eight auxiliary inputs, three AES50 inputs, which allow 48 channels bi-directional, and a built-in USB interface. Once you've connected the audio source to your console, select the channel that you would like to route the input to. With your channel selected, go to the home menu. On the left hand side of the screen is our virtual channel strip. If we press the second square down, this allows us to set the channel settings. If we press the square below input and main, we can now route the input source. On the right hand side of the screen are our input sources. You can change these using the drop down menu. Simply select the source that you would like to route to your channel and then press done. If you need to change your channel from mono to stereo, first press the routing button and then you will see the channel settings. If you change the channel to stereo or mid-side, this will link the channel with its neighbour. It's important to note that all channels on the wing are stereo. This means that when you choose a stereo or mid-side source, then it will be controlled on one fader, not two. Additionally, when using a USB input, channels 1 and 2 will be stereo by default. You will also need to change the USB I.O. config from the setup menu. If you are connected to a DAW when adjusting the USB I.O. count, please restart the DAW in case there's any connectivity issues. Once your input is set up correctly, press the home button. If you return to the channel settings menu, you can now adjust your gain and digital trip. Another thing to note is that when using a digital input, you can only adjust the digital trip, not the gain. You can adjust the gain and digital trip using the rotary encoders beneath the screen and the touch screen itself. You can also adjust the balance of the digital trip, allowing you to increase the trim on the left or right channel. If you need to apply phantom power, simply push and hold the input button on the channel strip section. From this menu, you can also add a high cut and low cut filter, activate the tilt EQ, invert the signal of your channel and add a delay. The delay is measured in meters, but you can also read it in feet and milliseconds. The wing also allows you to set alternate inputs for your channels. This is extremely helpful for virtual sound checks where you need to switch between two different input types. It's important to note that with the alternate input selected, the gain and trim will control the main channel input, not the alternate input. If you need to adjust the gain and trim for your alternate input, you need to access the routing menu. You can also set multiple channels to change from alt and main input at the same time. First, ensure that the channel is set to auto and then access the setup menu. In the setup menu, under the SRC switch section, you can then switch between your main and alternate inputs. Any channel that you've set to auto will then switch. And that's it. In the next video, we're going to be looking at routing your output.